Whew. It's been a hot one. Standing here looking at the old thermometer. What is it, six o'clock? It's 85 degrees. Yep. This uh, this shirt, I'll explain about you in a minute. I'll explain it to you in a minute. Whether it be worn by me or someone else. But I've got to point this out because Kimberly has been on me about it. And it actually had a purpose, but for now, the purpose is uh, not needed. But that old rug that we had laying on this old gate, oh, it's all of it right there. She was griping at me about it, so I've got it on the burn pile, Kimberly. So you'll be, be happy to know. It was actually serving as a barrier for the dogs not to get out. But uh, it's kind of weird to have open gates around here at this point. <clears throat> but it is what it is. But uh, work this morning started to go live and just had a busy day to get to. <clears throat> but uh, helped out in town and did some paid work this morning. But come home and got busy on a project I've been wanting to tackle over here on the side of the house. And man, me and a two-bit axe double head axe whatever you want to call it i don't know if any of y'all have ever swung an axe most of you have at some point surely but uh it's got an old hickory or oak handle on it i mean it went to work out here on this property <laughs> and i think i tallied up there has to be 750,000 cedar trees that i chopped today give or take a couple hundred thousand and as many uh other little yopons and things but we got it done it's shining tonight <laughs> it's uh got sharpened up on some tree branches <laughs> but there's something about swinging an axe if you hit it just right you hit that sweet spot and it's just one chop and it's down on these little saplings but if you don't hit it right you're gonna be chopping on it for a whole minute but we got a little brush pile of stuff still burning my pine tree nemesis is it ain't wanting to give up too good let me show y'all Hey, Kim. <laughs> Poor old thing's leaning. But it's got a heart. <laughs> it's rotten on the outside, but it's got a good heart on the inside. How about that? It's, it's just smoldering away. It'll fall at some point. It's uh, not a threat or a danger to anything. But let me see. Uh, I'm going to tell you a story about this exact piece of property I'm standing on. But uh, if you haven't been watching many of these videos, you may not really recognize how much <laughs> chopping I did today. And uh, all I had is that ax, but we got, look at that. It was like that, solid. And now it's like that. That's how it's supposed to be. It's ready for the mower now. So it's coming back together. Last time I remember this property piece, nice and clear, was a July 4th reunion. It was, uh, Big and our family to get together on 4th of July or around that time. That's a big family reunion. This year it's on June 15th. We're going to Illinois. I'm a pawpaw now, thanks to my oldest son and his wife and precious little Isabella Rose. Gonna go get to see her in June. So we'll have to skip the family reunion, but I think we've got the right reason to. But on this piece of ground, I remember as a kid, I walked up now, lots of stories of faith in my family because that's what, uh, family was built on here and our heritage and I'll never forget walking up to my uncle Nolan and y'all will get to meet him at some point when he drops by he's got lots of stories and helps me out with a little history of this place but I was probably 10 11 years old and I walked up on a conversation and it was an adult conversation but it wasn't anything dark or ominous but I believe he was counseling somebody on faith and obeying the Lord and uh, he was out here in the middle of this it was a little bit cleaner then and he was telling the story of Moses and Aaron and Pharaoh when uh, Aaron cast down his staff and it turned into a serpent. And uh, then, of course, the wizards of Pharaoh did the same, but Aaron's swallowed it up. But what stuck out in my mind was, I mean, he was very literal and very vivid. He would reach down and get a stick and throw it down. And I was just waiting for a snake to slither off. I really was. So today it was quite the opposite. As I picked up the sticks, I was hoping that it would not turn into a snake. So I thought about that the whole time I was clearing this property. Because you know, some of them old sticks will look like a little slew foot snake, as Memo used to call it. Slew foot, I heard that Sunday. Reference to the old old devil, that's an old one. Now here's what's cool, look at that. There's a, let me turn it around. As I'm clearing, hey Susan. Look at that, just out in the middle of nowhere. Marigolds, I do believe, so they were spared the ax today as was a uh, 
little red bud I'm going to try to nurse and see if we can't get it grown up without all, all the stuff around it. Had to save a couple of magnolias. And uh, Christmas tree and training. There was a ton of them out here. I, I spared a few of them. We'll groom them. That's my next project. We'll get it looking just like this for too long. Don't have a lot of this, but I guess when you have a determination and a couple of hand tools, you can get it done. Can y'all imagine 1800s and even before that, just hand tools and this, this land was way wilder. They got up and had to worry about scrounging up some food. Didn't have to, didn't have the luxury of going to a grocery store. Work all day and whatever trade they had and then scrounge up lunch and supper. So not complaining. I do want to talk about this shirt I've got on, Merit. Some very, very dear friends of mine that I was privileged to meet back in 2012, about a year after they founded this organization. You can find out more at lolusa.org. Now it's not laugh out loud, although there's a lot of laughter in good times. This is a group of folks that have banded together and um, I was able to play a small part and uh, had a sub chapter in Waco for a little while. Basically, it's just getting back to who we are and serving one another. It's self-funded. It's not about raising money. It's all self-funded. People from all walks of life will find out a need in a certain city in America. And they'll go as a coalition for a weekend, a week. They'll all gather together of their own resources. And there's teams that go out and maybe they rebuild a widow's house, repaint it all out of their own pocket and um, have great fellowship over time. They want to they want to display Christ through through their service in those in those projects, but there's so much more to it, and it's a um, great great organization. Y'all take a minute, maybe look them up. It's called Labor of Love USA, and their uh, acronym is LOL, which is kind of fitting at some point. But a good group of folks: Susan Selim and and uh, Shelly, Dave Perkins. I mean, the name goes on and on, but just first class people that. Um, Hadn't forgot what it's like to serve and to help one another as individuals and as human beings regardless. Hey, Jerry. There's Marcy. Well, I guess I got to read the deal here, don't I? Let me see. There's Kim. Susan from Kansas. Hey. That's way off yonder. Jerry's up in, I think it's, I think Tony said Oregon, but isn't it, I believe it's Nebraska, isn't it, Jerry? Got a uh, Red Dirt Roots radio station up there. Y'all can check that out. Good old uh, Red Dirt Country Music. <clears throat> she puts her heart and soul into it. But Man, it's been a productive day, and I'm glad you can't... Uh... Hey, Margaret, how are you? Glad y'all can't smell, because <laughs> I'm probably pretty ripe at this point. <laughs> Got to go out here and check on the chickens. Yep. I, uh... These aren't laying hens. These are meat chickens, so over uh, the course of the next few weeks, they'll be headed to the freezer but uh, we thank goodness and the lord for for meat we all eat it y'all know you do it's just a little bit closer to the beginning of it when you've got them at harvest it's a it's a little different for me um jordan fell right in and as long as there he'd probably he'd probably do the the act of getting them ready it will keep it pc i guess but he's ready there on the on the table ready to get them processed so that's a big help got lots of dewberries coming on still i can't get rid of these things <laughs> well i can if i have enough ice cream so there is that hey susan thank you there's marcy amarillo's in the house well y'all can uh again i do want to really encourage you those that are minded in our our heritage and our culture and the way the simple ways of giving and loving each other and getting things done neighbor to neighbor do uh, connect and look up the labor of labor of love usa group it's a first class group of people have no hidden agendas they're just uh, there to help so kind of hard to find those folks these days so there's a whole batch of them right there you don't have to look very far but uh, no snakes from from sticks today so i'm thankful for that um uh I know they're out here, but oh well. The Lord's blessing me to keep them out of my way, so that's good enough. I'm kind of reckless with that. I'll just 
bust up into a brush pile. <laughs> so I'm, I'm sure me and one will be seeing eye to eye and not agreeing for too long. That'll be all right. Giddings, Texas. Hey, Debbie, how are you? Good to see you. Well, we got another work day tomorrow. Now that I've started on that side, man, I've got to, I've got it up my crawl to get it done. Man, it looks better. Sure does. Get that old mower cranked up and get the little weeds knocked down. Anybody runs over my marigold out here, I'm gonna be in. I'm gonna get sideways. I'm afraid. <laughs> hey, Chris from Waco. Good buddy of mine. Good man. But, uh, all right, I've done went from talking to rambling, so I'm gonna let it go and call it a day. Maybe we'll tackle this and get it looking like that tomorrow. How about that? All right, love y'all much and appreciate y'all tuning in to hear the ramblings. But uh, keep your faith, folks. Keep your faith. Make a difference in uh, everybody you touch from the person you're buying coffee from to the waiters, waitresses, your family. It matters. Every moment is precious. So capitalize on it and be the light. All right. See y'all later. Hey, Stacy.